everybody welcome to my channel today's video i wanted to share with you my completed transformers siege voyager megatron now i did a video earlier uh, about uh, what i techniques and what materials and tools i use to customize my transformers um and this is the finished product so here he is in tank mode Now this is nothing really, um, I would say, too difficult in, in terms of techniques. It's basic washing, basic panel lining, and basic dry brushing along with using um, some weathering uh, powders. As I showed earlier, I used this Tamiya Weathering Master Powder, and I am using um, this uh, Mr. Hobby Multi Black Wash for weathering. Now they come in different colors because of Megatron, um, the darker colors in, for Megatron I, I chose black and along with this um, Tamiya panel line um, accent color. Now just something to note, um, I, didn't, I don't think I noted this in the last video, but with this uh, Tamiya panel line accent color, you gotta be very careful to not let it pull up. This thing can eat up plastic if it is pulled up too much and if it's basically soaked in. You want to be, you don't want to be too generous with this. You just want it to do its job, which is to paddle line. Something like this, you can use to wash um, the figure in terms of uh, you know, covering all of the figure with it. But um, something like this, um, you, want, you don't want to overdo it because this can eat up the plastic. I had a Gundam figure that um, the first time I used this on, um, the next day, the plastic started cracking and it just was breaking and falling apart. So just be very careful with this. Not only does it have that strong smell, but it's also can eat up your plastic. So don't overdo it. So here he is. Um, here is Megatron straight out of the box. So I can kind of highlight the difference here between the two figures. So a couple things I did with this Megatron in, I guess in the tank mode, I added a little bit of red on the top here. Just to break up all that uh, um, space. Here's the back. Oh yeah, I'm gonna get this guy into robot mode and then we can uh, see what I did in terms of uh, his robot mode. Oh okay, yeah, here is Megatron in his robot mode. Got a lot of panel lining and as you can see, the biggest difference is the lower abdomen of this of uh, Megatron. Let's get the let's get on the here's the original. As you can see, I added some detail to the to this part of the figure. Um, I one of my biggest gripes was this part of his body was just way too clean. Not, I mean. I, I don't even understand why they didn't paint this little piece here. So I painted it red, added some red on the sides to give him a more G1 feel. And, and you know, another gripe of mine was, you know, they painted this part. I, I don't understand why they didn't paint that part red as well as it looks like it would match perfectly for that. So, um, so I just added that to the figure. Um, other things I did, um, I put a little silver over here. Um, you don't have that on this figure. But uh, all in all, I'm really happy the way uh, it came out. Oh, I got him this transformed. Forgot about that part. There you go. But here he is in his robot mode. 
lots of nice um, areas to panel line on the arm. And here as well. A little um, weather um, dusting on the edges just to give it that little dirty look. And some dry brushing and washes on the feet and the legs. Really a lot of nice detail to work with on this figure as well with the Optimus Prime figure. So you can see how they both look side by side. In the back. And here he is next to the Optimus Prime I worked on earlier this week. Like I said, I'm really liking the way these are coming out, so I may do a few more of these. I'm not sure if I can afford to do the whole line because what I've been doing is I've been getting a second copy to work on, uh, just in case I mess it up. Here's his weapon, his sword. Basic washes, some panel lining, and some dry brushing on the sword. And you can see the difference with it and the original side by side. Anyway, that is it for this video. I hope to share some more in the future. Um, not sure who I want to work on next. Uh, Hound comes to mind right now because I really like, you know, Hound is uh, supposed, supposed to be like a military type of vehicle. So you could use uh, this kind of technique on him as well. Um, or um, flywheels. Flywheels is basically a, a tank and a, a jet. So probably those two. Let's see if I can do those two next. Anyway, that's it for this video. Thanks for watching.